Hi, I'm Higa Machado. I'd like to welcome you guys to the segment segment about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the choke who changed the history of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the triangle choke. I like in this segment show you the steps about like the ABC for a very successful triangle choke. I like to show you triangle from many different positions, from the back, from the cross position, from the mount position, from the guard, close guard, open guard, spider guard, for many different ways for you adapt these techniques to your game. Not only that, you can choose these techniques to use for any HB as you become a professional fighter, or you can use with no gi for grappling submission. Welcome to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Triangle Choke. I hope you have a great time. Hi, I'd like to introduce Roger. Roger is going to be my sister on the techniques of the triangle today. Let's start with the ABC of the triangle. I like to explain here this first segment. It's over here. Roger, the triangle is the control of the head and the arm inside your legs, like this. Okay? The first step here in the triangle is a fight for lock the triangle. What's the triangle? When he's inside the circle, over here of the guard, and the other arm is outside, I'm gonna just to lock the leg. The way I wanna lock my leg is to lock right here under my knees and drop my leg over here. That's the form of the triangle. That's why we call the triangle choke. Okay? That's the beginning of the triangle, half triangle, and a full triangle here. Okay? Okay. Over here is the beginning of the triangle. Okay, the next step is to go for the lock of the triangle. For do that, it's very important to drag this arm for this side of here to free my hip to go this way. I like to call this leg here the hoop, the one who's gonna fish his neck. That's why I wanna put this leg like a call a hoop. When I have a successful hoop, now I'm gonna try adjust and tie the best way I can to go for a full triangle. That's called the full triangle. Half triangle in the beginning of the triangle. Okay? The next step was very important here is the cut the space from the back. This space. If this comes from the foot on the hip, here in the way I adjust the hoop. When they put the foot over here, I want to adjust the hook. You see, that's it's going to cover this space. Look over here. Oh, adjust the hook. Adjust the arm. You go for a full triangle. Okay? That's very important to cover this space. One thing here is very important in triangle, another detail very important, is the breakdown here. The breakdown when my partner have a good portion it get difficult for me to lock the triangle. What happened here, whatever I have a chance, I will grab here, will even hold my legs. Here, I come here, do a sit up over here. Ding! I do a sit up over here. Now his head's close to my hands. That's gonna help me to adjust the hook behind the neck, foot on the hip, to adjust an angle to make it easy for do a full triangle, okay? Okay, one more time, he's a good portion. Break him down, reach the head. Because you don't reach the head, you're gonna go up again. You're gonna come here again, you pull him down, and he go up again. What happens here, when you bring him down, now you reach the head, he go up again, go up again. You see, his head is gonna open a gap, for you can adjust the hook of your leg. You're over here. You adjust for full triangle. Okay. The next step, okay, we hit load yourself a little bit much. Yeah. The next step here, who is very important, is to the clean the arm for just for the triangle. To clean the arm for just the triangle is to drag this arm 
for this side. <coughs> okay, here I like to use two arms against one to drag him. But a lot of times that's not enough because he's way over here. What I have, I try to drag, he's not enough. What I have, I raise my hip and adjust over here. What I have is going to be three elements to drag his arm over there. Raise the hip, drag the arm. Now I can adjust the angle in the hoop or set up a good triangle. Okay, the other one I like to do is like when he put the hands on the ground. Now I have to go under his arm, raise the arm, adjust and go for the full triangle. Okay, over here, go under the arm, drag the arm from this side, adjust, a good hook and go over here. You see here in this triangle, I only have his head and his arm inside my legs. That's what's very important triangle. Okay. The way I'm gonna submit this here, the submission, the perfect submission, is to drag his arm, have a good hook, have a full triangle, and the hand is gonna come behind his head and raise my hip for do a pressure on his neck. Again, I have a full turn, the hands come right behind his head, raise my hip and choke him. Okay? The other things I like to do is variation from triangle. A lot of times here in triangle, when they start go for the triangle here, I see an opportunity here to do arm lock. I can do arm lock from here by raising my hip, I can do a lock by blocking his head across my feet over here. Or a lot of times when you put the hands on the ground, I can go for another technique here by dragging his arm next to my head, lock his arm, try to keep it straight, hands right on top of the elbow, get the angle and do an arm crank here, crank his arm over here. We can do this one, or we can do the omoplata with his arm on the ground, head. Over here, come for the lock. Go for another technique over here. Okay, that's some other variations you can use for the triangle. Okay. I like to show here some drills I really like for you to develop a very successful triangle. In this segment over here, I like to show you here, like the hands behind my head, and how I gonna do in the drills for the rubber triangle. By understanding how to use the mechanic of my legs, without use my arms. Because basically over here, what I gonna do, I wanna first break his posture, because I, I keep him, use my legs to bring him closer to me, is gonna be better for me to close to finish the triangle. The next step here is gonna be the pressure I keep here of my knees, because this is gonna help to control him. By doing the foot on the hip, I'm gonna adjust the hook. Now here, you see how I only have his head and his arm. One more time, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go for the other side, wait. When you go for the other side before you do a drill with your partner, let your partner leave the arm over here. Okay, what I do, do over here, I go to first, one, two, even here now. It's very important when you put the foot on the hip to hook his head, because you put the foot on the hip, you don't put the hook in his head, nothing is gonna stop him to go up. I go up a little bit. You see over here, it's very important over here to adjust the hook because he try to go up right now, he gonna have to raise your body. Get the angle you need, go over here. See how I swing my leg and go for successful training. Remember these techniques, I'm not using my arm, okay? Over here. One, two, three, four. You see even here, I can push my leg, the arm over here to help to adjust the triangle. Okay? Okay. That's a very good drill 
for you understand how to do the training. Now, the next drill I like to do is a drill when you learn how to defend a little bit, learn how to do the training a little bit. He based what Roger is going to do is again, he's going to try pass my guard, a old style Jiu Jitsu. When he start past the guard, he gonna end up trapping him in the triangle. When they trap him on the beginning of the triangle, he's gonna try escape, he's yeah, gonna try finish. Because this gives a sense of reality when you get somebody a triangle to understand his resistance. If by understanding his resistance, you're gonna learn how to do the setups to go for armbar, to omoplata, the variations for triangle, or even how to lock the triangle away, he can escape. Okay. Base the drill is like this. He start on my guard. In case in this drill he choose to pass this side, he's gonna raise this leg. He's gonna try to penetrate one hand over here. In case he penetrate this side, I fight for the control over here. As soon as he come here, oops, I have he uh, over here. Now in this game, he's gonna try escape. Like he's gonna try pass, he's gonna try to do everything for escape from the triangle. In here, I'm gonna fight to finish. The first thing here I like to do in this drill is to control him. Like example, try pass, try pass. I keep tight, because here I don't wanna he pass so easy. You know what I mean? The next step here is to adjust the leg, be sure it's tight. You know what I mean? Little by little I fight for my leg by himself to adjust here for fight for the triangle. That's why I like this training because give a sense of the reality when you're gonna fight. Again, now, you go for the other side, you do the same. You see, I have a good control here. I saw he come here, oh, I catch his shoulder. Now tight. The more he try pass, more he gonna end up tight. Oh, I have the head now, a good penetration of the hook. Now I fight for a good triangle here. The one thing I like to do too, sometimes I get the triangle here, it's between half triangle and a full triangle. I come to my foot here and I keep a little bit. Now I have the full triangle. I have to adjust by kick my leg a little bit and put my foot right under my, my knee. Okay? Now, let's learn how to do triangle uh, from different setups. That's going to be the next segment about triangle. The first setup I'm going to show you in this segment is I'm in the close guard. You're yeah, going to set up to go for the triangle from here. First, I'm going to go to one technique called the single arm control. The single arm control, in case you choose to control this arm, I'm going to control the collar and control the arm. One arm. In case I want to choose the other side, I control this side. Okay. The first, the next segment over here, I'm gonna put this foot on the ground, move my body by putting this foot on his hip, but I still control this arm. The next step over here, you see this arm here, I have to clean this arm out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here and put right here on his shoulder, but I'm not, I still have the control over here. I'm gonna push and straight over here. You see, this is a very important drill to give me a chance to go in, go out. This hand is very important because by using this hand, I have a chance to bring him inside. Here, now open my leg. But one thing is important, I soon have a chance to go for the hook. Go, because over here I go for the beginning. But over here I go straight to the hook. What happened right away, my leg is going to have a control about his head. And over here, Right away, go for the armlock. The armlock, not for the triangle choke. One more time. Let's do for the other side, Roger. Okay, one, two, three, push. When you feel the arm back, inside, hook, right away. Arms already here. You see, I drag the arm, go for a full triangle. One more time. Over here. Come in here, push. In, control, here, successful lock, hands behind the head, 
Tenhas sucesso ou finish. The next position we're going to see over here the, is going to be the triangle going from the stand position, but the same setup you did from the ground, okay, from the close guard. Based on what they're going to do, I want to be sure I have a very good control of the arm and a very control the collar. I can control this side or control this side. There's no much rules about what you're going to do for control. What you're going to do as soon as you control over here, you want to put the same step, the foot, right on the hip. You can do that and sit up at the same time. Like example here. I'm going to come over here and sit up at the same time. When you sit here, I switch for this side over here in the same control over here. Control over here. Now here, bring him inside. Fight for the hook. Because when I have the hook over here, I cover a big space over his back. Right there, triangle. Okay? A lot of times here, one thing is very important in these techniques. A lot of times I get over here, he shrink his arm over here. You see, shrink your arm. You see? But I have a good block here. When this happens, come lower and push and pull. That's a very important detail because that's what a lot of time happen. But when you came here, you break his base, and successful, you're going to be able to set up the triangle. And over here, you're going to be able to go for the finish. Let's do these techniques a couple more times, okay? One, two, three, Four, adjust, and go for the lock. One more time, on different angle. Come over here. I like to control here first. That this I like to switch. But by playing around, you do the way you feel comfortable for you. Remember one thing. It's not you gonna adapt to jiu-jitsu, but jiu-jitsu gonna adapt to your you, for your body type. It's very important, every technique I show you, you try to see which techniques you're gonna feel more comfortable to use for your game. Okay? Let's do one more time. Remember, one, two, block the arm. Now, come over here, good hook, good lock, success trainer. Remember here, every time you get here, let me get the control here. Put your knees on the ground. He have it here. You shrink the arm over here. You know what I mean? You stretch a little bit, work on the knee. Because that's gonna help to bring the arm over here, you see? Right there, you're gonna come here. Even sometimes on the drill, change a little bit. Go for arm lock or for another variation on triangle. Let's go for the next technique. Okay, the next technique, Roger, I move here to my guard, please. Here. I like this control here, the wrist control. Like base, that's the game. Here, by pushing his arm over here. A lot of times I grab the arm over here. What I'm gonna do is push here. Now, I jump over the arm. Now I have the beginning of the triangle right there. I just. Okay, here for the other side, like push, uh, I go over the arm, it's a very quick setup, okay, hands behind the head, sometimes good, adjust, tie this way, or even clean more the arm, go for the success train. Let's do a drill, one, two, one, Two, look here. Even you can go for some neck crank. Arm crank, I'm sorry. Here. That, I like to do this drill a lot. The, let's see now triangle from the side control. The side control actually is one of my favorite positions. 
Okay, when I have the side control here, cross face for control the shoulder over here. Okay, one thing I like to do is to clean this arm. Okay, one thing I like to do is this use this knee to go under this arm here. Okay, by having that, I'm gonna adjust this arm outside this knee over here. Okay. When I just over here, what I want to do, I can come for the cross face, I have a good control. I'm going to set up here to go over here. Natural, when they set up this way, he want to block my knee because he think I'm going to go mount, I'm going to put the knee on the storm. His natural reaction is to block. When I block, I'm going to step, uh, come for my hands, not step, but put my hands and control his hand this way. By doing that, now I'm going to be able to step right here. When I step right here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come under here, grab my chin. Now, what's very interesting here, this hand is going to come, this knee on the ground. What happened, why I'm doing that? Because help my penetration of my hook. Here, I can use an arm lock. I can go for omoplata. I can go for arm lock. But my goal right now is to go for triangle. To have a triangle here, already I have a very good control position. What I do here are raise, put all the weights on my knee and create a gap over here. I'll do this. You see, now I have a full triangle from the mount position. And over here, I can use the weight of my pressure on his neck. Or here, in case I lose my balance, I can set up to roll and set up the submission here. One more time, Roger. Come over to the knee over here. Move this way a little bit. Let's do a drill like this. Uh. Can do this way. Can do this way. And have just to adjust the arm out. Okay? Come over here. In case his arm right here, okay? Practice. Over here. Or Hold over here, right there, come for this lock of prayer. One more time for the other side now. Lay down here, Roger, please. Okay, over here, let's do in slow motion. Good control. Knee can come this way, you know what I mean? The arm is out. Set up. See up. Now knee on the ground. Okay, arms already clean. Over there, for a roll with the adjustment here and go for a successful finish. Let's go for the next segment for triangle choke. The next technique is set up for triangle from the open guard. The control you're going to do is double arm control. Single arm control, double arm control. Okay, the way you control, you can control like this, can control like this, can control like this. It's up to for your taste. I like this control here with the thumb outside. The next thing is the shin block over here. When I have the shin block, I want to start doing the setup over here. I open space for the foot right here. The one foot is an underhook right under his triceps over here. When you do that, he's very tight, tie your elbows. Here, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna try open him. That's the drill. Push him, now I open. When I open here, I'm gonna put my heel right here. That's what come the techniques called kick the horse because you want to stretch your body to come to him. It's a drill who come based like this. You stretch your hip. You know what I mean? Basically, I like to call that kick the horse, the horse kick. Because you want to do that in these techniques. You want to go to him. You want to throw your hip higher to have a chance to put him inside the circle of the triangle. When you come in here, the bottom control, block both arms, he's very tight. Come over here, 
push. Now he's open. Shoot. Now I swear her, he's inside the circle. Bring him down. For he come closer. For you start adjust a perfect triangle over there. Okay? Sorry, Hash. You okay? Yeah. Okay, one more time from the open guard for the other side. You come here. Let's do here. See? Adjust. Go high. You see how high my hip is? But you don't want to stay high over here because you're weak. You want to bring him close because now you can reach the head. You can adjust the arm. Fight for the hoop and go for the triangle. Okay? One more time. Okay, open space. He's tight, open, inside the circle. Bring him down. Adjust. Come here. Finish. Okay, there another way to do that. When he stand up, stand up, Roger. He's fighting over here to pass my guard. When he fight over here, I can use the same basic idea, lower and higher. I have to use the foot inside and break the grip. You see, bring him base like closer to me. His upper body have to come this deep angle here. Example, he's too back over here. It's hard for me to do that. What happened? I use the hook and the foot to bring him close. I swear, come here. I come for the same setup. You see how high I go? Now I'm reaching him over here. This technique, because he's so high, I can go for armbar right there. Because his arms already so straight, why I go for triangle? Go for the armbar. It's right here. But right now we're talking about triangle. Fly over there, adjust, fight for the jerk, lock, and finish over there. One more time, Harley. Oh, bring him close. See? Go right there. Adjust the triangle. Go for the finish. Always fight for just the triangle. I know sometimes in some case the guy's so big, that's okay. But keep tight. You see, I don't have the full triangle, but I have the half triangle and squeeze it tight as possible. Because that's what's going to keep the pressure on the neck. Okay? One more time, Roger. He's over here. You see, I fight with the foot. Okay? Keep over here. You see, I use the foot on the hip. Go for it. The, arm, the triangle over there. He's low, low inside of the shin, over here. He's over here, open, shoot, go for the triangle. Let's do a quick review about cup another triangle. You can add that uh, uh, mix of setups. Okay, like this one I like, the wrist. Here you go for triangle. Come back. This one. Go for triangle. Or the next one. See one control. Come over here. Okay, it's very important to try mix everything. Is because the setup, what's very important for you surprise your opening. In case you have just one setup, sometimes you see that. But when you have many different setups, that what's get confused for him to defend. Because you try different ways all the time. Same submission. Let's go for the next submission in triangle choke. These next techniques, we're going to do a fly triangle. Fly triangle is a position a lot of people get afraid to do it because you have to jump from the stand position right away for the triangle position. That transition, a lot of people are afraid to fall the head on the ground, to hit his back on the ground, and things like that. What I like to do is to show you the step one on the drill, the step two, a little bit more advanced, to come to a point, you go for a very successful triangle. The way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna use Roger 
to do the triangle me because I'm a heavyweight. I'm 245 and Horace is 175. What happened for me to jump on him is going to be kind of hard. It's going to be easy for me to fall on the ground. But for him to apply on me and to dream on me is going to be very easy. You don't want to use a big guy to do a lightweight on the dream. You want to use the lightweight to apply and somebody can hold his weight. We are going to show you that. The first step, let's start like this. I'm going to control here. Hodge is going to control the same side and control the arm. The way you're going to do a drill, okay, is like this. Example, the first step, in case you move your hip like this, you create a lot of this. You don't want to do that. You want to start from here in this drill, like by raising one leg, and after this jump the other leg, you put on the guard. That's what Hodge is going to do first. He don't want to lay down, he want to keep closer to me. Okay, Horst, let's do it. Okay, one. You see here, I keep my leg in a position I can put together and hold his weight. In case you want to do a sit-up over here, do a sit-up, Horst. Lay down and come back up. I can hold his weight. You see, over here. In case I open my leg like this too much, he lay down again, Horst. It's going to be too much pressure on my back. They're going to end up going to the ground. It's not going to be good for the dream. Okay, again. One more time, Roger. It's very important to get like a support over here for your legs for his body coming here and come back. In case you open like this, when he go down, there's no support. It's going to be all the pressure on your back. Okay? Okay, he come over here. From here, he jump. Go! And my leg, knee is right there. You see my knees? Over here. Now over here, he come back quick. The same way he go, the same way he come back. Let's do it three times. One. Come back. Two. Come back. Three. Come back. What happened? He learned how to jump with his legs. Now, the next drill is going to be level two. The level two, instead he grab this side, he's going to grab the same side, my arm. Because that's what we want to control just the side you're gonna apply the triangle. But the drill here, you're gonna grab it here. You're gonna just set up a hook. And don't, don't open your hands because you don't wanna hit your thing. Close your hand. You're gonna do the same drill, but his leg is gonna come here first. You have this, the second leg come behind me. You're gonna help to hold him the same basic idea. Go hard. One time, you see here, see my legs, hold him, now he's going to come back. See, one. You see, two. See, no problem, my legs support his weight, very safe, go. Over here. Okay, now, little by little, he can adjust the hook. Okay, foot on the hip, Roger, to get a better angle and fight for the line. Always remember, the hook, the foot on the hip help to adjust the hook. Okay, remember, foot on the hip, adjust the hook. Let's do the same way again. Okay, leave the arm, good position for my leg. He jumped this leg first. Now he adjusts the triangle. Foot on the hip. Okay, the next one is the difficult one. You want to build up your confidence to go for the next one. And the next one is going to be, instead put the arm here, it's going to be right away on the hook. And that's when you become a very successful triangle choke, a, a fly triangle choke. Okay, the fly triangle. Okay, you're going to come over here. You're going to control me here. I'm in good base. And now he's gonna come for the triangle. Okay? Yeah, just like that. Very good, Hodge. Let's do one more time. You come here, remember here. You wanna the key of drill the techniques and master the techniques is two partners help each other. In case you try to do the techniques, if the other partner make difficult. He's not going to be able 
to learn the technique. Try to be the best help he can for make this technique successful. It's the same vice versa. When they want to train the techniques, he try to do the best to help. That's what I try to do for him right now. Okay? Grab very here. Over here, good success for grabbing. Swing the leg, go straight for the hook. All right. Just, just the, no, I just the, the hit. Yes. Woo! That's a fantastic technique. Let's go for the next techniques of triangle choke. Let's do a different setup over here. This next setup over here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a cross to this hand, it's gonna come here, this hand is gonna come here, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for a position, it's called the reverse guard. That's, I face him, now I'm gonna open my guard and come here, okay? When you come here, here, now in this foot, it's going to come to this leg over here, okay, over here. When you come here, this is called the reverse guard, okay, I can use both feet, I can use one feet, I can use my knees, I can do a lot of things from here. Okay, the way I'm going to set up here, I'm going to see which way I'm going to set up the triangle. In case I set up this way, I put my heel inside the arm. Push this arm out, spin over here. When you spin here, you see this arm is down. This arm is gonna come here, but this leg is gonna come over here. I'm gonna come right away for the hook. And here you're gonna be able to adjust the triangle. One more time. Cross grip. I'm gonna go for the reverse guard. Okay, over there, come over here. Now I'm gonna do for the other side here. Okay, remember here. This leg swing, I spin like doing like a break dance. Stay right there on the hook. Here, go for the triangle. It's a very good setup. I go for the reverse guard. Thanks, Hart. <laughs> Let's go for the next one. These next techniques are going to show you this combination who I like a lot is the omoplata triangle okay the omoplata triangle is a technique I like a lot because a lot of times when you get the omoplata it's not your reaction for your goal finish is to go this way and put the pressure over the shoulder but he knowing that he's gonna keep his hands up and he's gonna put the hands on the ground a lot of times he, he gonna sit on the ground, sit, like try to get his posture over here. When something like that happens, I hold the arm, sit over here through this leg over his shoulder. As soon as I come here, I raise my arm, turn a little bit hot to show for the camera. You see his arm over here? I raise my hip, he gives me more leverage to clean the arm up. Over here, come over here. Even is a very good drill because Every time he come here, his hand up, I come back for triangle. Clean the arm or come back for more plot again. That's why I like this combination a lot. Every time you come here, you feel he pulls, put your hands on the ground, put the hands, uh, yes, and he start lift the head up. You see, you go back for triangle. Then over here, you go for the triangle. The next techniques I'm going to do is base a combination to go for omoplata, come back to triangle. And after this, I'm going to show you another setup to 
when he try grab my leg, I'm gonna go for the omoplata or for the triangle. That's why I like this combination, it's perfect. Triangle, omoplata, omoplata, triangle. You have a choice to go, you go for omoplata. He resists, he defends, you go back for triangle. From triangle, you can go for omoplata, okay? Okay, push between my guard over here. Okay, the next setup I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another cross grip. But this time over here, turn this leg here, Roger. I'm gonna control the leg. By doing that, I'm gonna swing my leg and come right here. Come over here. You see here, I swing come here, I'm gonna come back for the omoplata. But a lot of times when they do that, you're going to keep the head up and come back for triangle. That's why it's a very good setup. Set up for the omoplata, the omoplata come back for triangle. Because I expect already he try to resist the omoplata. That's why I think it's a very good setup for triangle. Again, what I do here, I swing this leg over, leaving this arm out. By doing that, I hook this neck here, raise my hip to go in here. His hand is right between my legs. Don't let it, I don't let it go of his leg. Now here, roll, here, swing the leg around the head. Here over here, set up the finish. Let's do for the other side, Roger. Okay, one, two, good control, over here. The next setup here I'm gonna do with Roger, I like a lot. It's like when he grabs him in the single leg, single leg Roger, here. A lot of times he grabs the single leg here with the head inside. I turn around here, do the same setup. Here, come back to front. Okay, again. It's very good to drill that for both sides. The other side. Because a lot of times you can use his attack. You know what I mean? For set up himself. Other side. Let's do a couple more times. Other side. One more time. You see here, this leg always up. Because you keep this leg here, it's difficult for me to roll. But you leave this leg up, it's very easy. You see, come back for the hook. Let's do a quick review. Over here. Let's go for the next technique. The next technique I'm gonna teach you uh, is a setup when my partner try pass my guard from inside. If from there I'm gonna set up him for getting in the triangle. Let's see this technique. Here, when Roger inside my guard, he had a chance, a lot of times he come this way, grab this collar, and he's gonna do a single leg pass over here, from inside. When he do that, when he come here, hold on a sec, turn around this way, hold on. It's a detail very important here. When they straight my leg, come very easy for him to pass. Go ahead, watch, pass around. You see, he come around my gun. What I do here, the first thing here is this, control here, in control with the leg, I do a hook over here. What happened? When he passed over here, go ahead, pass. His head kind of gets stuck a little bit. With that, the other hand come and grab here. 
Now reach the elbow, bring him inside the, the, the circle. In the side of the circle, the first thing you do is tie him up, okay, over here. A lot of times he come around over here, one thing I like to do is to block his head over here sometimes. You want me to give him a chance to bring him to the center, to little by little adjust the triangle, to finish, or sometimes control this call over here. You know what I mean? Grab over here, you control over here, you'll have pass, pass. You kind of stuck over here to my leg. You know what I mean? Give me a chance to set him up for the, the triangle. Okay, let's see for this side over here. Inside of here again. Okay, the first thing, you see my leg straight? Walk around hard. You're gonna pass easy. What they're gonna do? Control here. Now grab here. Ah. He pull, he reach his elbow, his elbows out, reach his elbow and drag it in. Now I can come over here and cross over here. When they cross over here, I'm going to fight to adjust the hook and set up triangle. The other side, come over here, reach over there. Reach the elbow, come inside here, adjust, set up. The other side, reach here. You see how it's very important this control here, the hook, because this gives a chance to set him up here. But remember the two hands here, okay? Now, when they control here, this hand you reach the elbow, you drag inside. Now I'm able to put him inside the circle for start fight for the adjust of the triangle. It's very important here to keep tight, because more tight you keep, more he pass, more he gonna help to adjust the triangle. In case I keep the triangle loose, as soon as he put the weight, you're gonna be able to pass the guard. Okay? Okay. Have two ways I like to do a drill and a train to help you to sharp the triangle. Is uh, have two ways to pass the guard. First, I'm gonna demonstrate the weight like lay down here, his feet down like this, I can go above the leg, his feet up, I can go inside the legs, okay, this setup is going to be, I want to bring set him up for he pass inside the guard or have a chance to set him up for this the, the triangle. Like over here, come over here, Hodge. Basically over here, one thing I'm gonna do, when Hodge stand up here, you know what I mean? Hodge here, I want this hand over here, and here, I grab here, you know what I mean? I can grab first the collar, start bringing here. You see how my feet come up? But one thing here, whatever he do over here, okay? You see, in case he keep my leg up, he gonna be able to lock easy. One thing I like to do is to keep my feet down. When he try pass, try pass hush, my leg is heavy. Make more deep for him to pass. Okay, over here, I like to set up like this. You know, if I to inside, you over here, when he start pass my guard, you know, I start set up all the drills I have. This one, set him up. Okay, start again. Okay, he stand up. First thing, grab the collar. Now I have the single arm control over here. Okay? Or have a chance, double arm control. Start setting up over here. Okay? You hear start the triangle. Again. So always control the collar here. Because you want to keep him closer to you. Remember, he, he control me here. Fight inside. Always fight to break. And you control him, not him control you, you here. You see? Always you see, give him a chance to fight inside you. Because when he try to go inside you, you see, now you have a chance to set him up for what you want. That's why I like to do this drill. I move back, I grab the collar, fight to come inside. And let me see what I'm control. Set up a triangle. Triangle for it's that fuck to pass my guard. 
triangle over that. Okay? That's why it's good to do a lot of drills, because the drills is the key for you to have a very successful submission in a very successful position. Let's see now some triangle from the side control again. A lot of times, how you get in this position here, okay? When you get in this position, one thing I like to do, or I like to come here, control the wrist this way, and have a chance to control this column this way. You can keep this uh, control here. Or even here, I can use the collar here to come like this, to come and control the arm this way. You can play this way or control the wrist. Let's do like this, control the wrist. When they grab here, what they're gonna do, this leg up, I see him here. I step him over here. When I step over here, I point this leg up over here. With one thing I'm gonna do is to bring this arm up, the foot come right here to his hip. Here, one thing in the reverse triangle, this hook come right across his, almost across to his jaw. And over here, a very successful triangle. Okay, one more time. The reverse triangle here. We can do a drill like this. See? Come here. The key is to open this arm. To bring the arm across the triangle. Okay. The other way you can apply, a lot of times here. See? You come over here. Come here. You see it go right between his arm and his face. Now over here, I come here, clean this leg, open, put the, the arm close to his head, come for the triangle here. Okay, let's do for the other side. Over here. Sorry, Hush. <laughs> One more time. Here, and his arm closed. Grab right here. Look at the skirt of the boot control. Bring the arm up. Cross. Base the same base here. When I do these techniques, I keep tight over here. I squeeze my leg over here. Put the pressure over here. Like a, it's a very good pressure. I can go here, same variation. I can come over here and try to do the arm bar too. Whatever you feel more comfortable. Let's go for the next one. This next setup, actually, I learned this setup from my brother Jean Jacques. My brother Jean Jacques sued me, a uh, fighter on the national championship in Brazil a while back, with this fantastic setup from the arm bar going for the triangle. In this setup, what I'd like to demonstrate right now. A lot of times over here, in the defense of the, the arm bar, we have the short, big control, short control with a big space inside. When you have the big space inside, you have the pressure over here, you have the big prey. Because a lot of times some guys so strong, there's gonna be a big fight for you to go for the arm bar from here. What he do over here, Jean Jacques do very well. He set up, I open, he open well. I soon have a chance to penetrate inside. When he penetrates inside, he penetrate the knee here. Okay, when he penetrates the knee inside here, naturally, he's gonna start set up, continue set up for the arm bar. But what happens, a lot of times, the fire is gonna try bridge. Here, no bridge, going to your knees, and he already gonna have the setup for the triangle. So when he just, he have to do, adjust, let the guy on top of him finish. Actually, it's a very good setup, very simple. 
because you end up getting him the arm bar or end up him getting trained. You get the arm, you feel he, he defend over here, you penetrate inside and have a chance. Plant the, the you see what I do, I plant the foot on the ground and then the knee inside. I do like this in case he go inside, go on top of me. My legs not well penetrate. Okay, again. But my foot here on the ground, he come on top of me, he penetrate on my hook. Now, just I need to do is to fall back and swing the leg to lock the triangle. Again, you see how sometimes the little detail make a big difference from the techniques. I put the leg over here, not just put the leg, but put the weight this way. When he breached to come on top of me, he fall on the hook of the triangle. Here now, I just wanna lay down. I can adjust the angle of the hook because the hook's not so deep. On the foot of the hip, we move a little bit and go for the successful triangle. Okay, let's do for the other side, Roger. Lay down. <coughs> I go for the arm, fight for the arm, start the foot, penetrate, plant the foot, he start to escape, penetrate the hook, and move right here for a successful time. One more time. Let's see the combination from the arm bar for triangle in the next segment. In this next segment, I'd like to show you I going for the arm bar from the guard and he's gonna escape the arm bar, you're gonna set me up for the triangle. That's a very common position, it's a very good setup. Actually, I really like this setup. Okay, when they come here, Roger, come between my guard. A lot of times over here, I go for the arm bar. Here. A lot of times, here, I feel he put the weight on top of me. He don't have a chance to, to straighten his arm well. If the first opportunity he has, he's going to pull his elbow or his arm out. All I have to do is swing it back, adjust. We have the triangle. Again, I go for the arm bar over here. He start to pull the arm out. I come back the same time. Okay? And end up switch for the other again angle to go for the finish. I go for the arm bar. Like he pull the arm out. Come back the same time. Adjust a good hook penetration and go for the triangle. The other side, come over here, he put the weight, pull the arm out, come back the same side, the same time. Now here, even can work on the head, <coughs> and the tray, <coughs> and go for the triangle. Let's go for the next segment about triangle. Let's see this setup. I'm gonna get Roger on the arm bar. A lot of times you get Roger on the arm bar. He's gonna try escape the arm bar. Remember, in pre when that I try put my stomp down, he's gonna escape, jump over my body. I'm gonna show you first how he escape and how I can set him up for getting on the triangle. Okay, here, let's start from the knees for you guys to understand the techniques. Like Roger, grab here. I'm going to control his arm, sit over here, push inside the knee, over here. By stretching his arm over here, look what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here, I adjust the hip. When I adjust the hip, you see what Roger is going to do, he's going to come over here, he's going to jump over. And here he's going to cross my side, my body here, okay? What did he do in this escape? When he feels his arm straight, he turn around his thumb this way, and he throw his leg over, and he's gonna pass my guard. But what I'm gonna do, by knowing that, I'm gonna set him up 
for the triangle because they're gonna go with him, follow him, and you're gonna set up him the triangle. Let's watch this one more time in slow motion. I come over here, control the arm, foot inside, come over here. I saw he jump over, I come back with him with the hook around his head. You over here, I'm gonna be able to finish the triangle. The key is to follow him with the leg over his head. Let's do one more time. Let's come this way. Same angle again, slow motion. Watch. Come over here. He jump over. I follow him and come back for the triangle. One more time. Let's see a different angle, Roger. Over here. I come in here. He jump. I follow him. And he adjusts the triangle. Again, Roger. One more time here. Move back this way. Yes, thank you. Come in here. I like to explain something very important for the people who do the triangle. In triangle, we have something in Brazil we call the batistaca. Batistaca is when somebody gets near a triangle, he lifts you up on the up from the ground and drop you on the ground. This actually is a very dangerous position in case you do that in a championship because you can really hurt somebody. These techniques from the Brazilian Federation rules in the World Championship is not permit to lift your partner and hit him on the ground because have a risk you hit his head on the ground or hit his the back of his spine. But in training in academy or maybe in a grappling submission or even in a professional fight you can do it. In this last training, in case that happens, somebody try to raise yourself from the ground for what to do. I recommend in case a point he raise you to a point very high, open the guard and try to start a guard again. Because you left he lift you up here, you try to keep holding him, the chance for to hit you on the ground and hurt you is pretty high. And that's something very important. It's very important for people who train in the academy for not get injured. It's very important to teach your students and people to learn how to protect themselves in case somebody want to do the bad stack. Okay, in my academy, it's not allowed on the training to do that. But it's better you know what to do in case somebody want to lift you and hit you on the ground. And that's what I'd like to show you right now. Okay, the first thing, Roger. I soon he come to my guard over here. I soon he start to stand up. What I gonna do? If I don't let him to up my my body over here, I go for the hands inside the leg over here. Because in case he try lift me from the ground, I'm stuck to the ground. You know what I mean? He over here can help me to set up for the armbar, set up to go for the other armbar, or even here. And he come up over here and he try to put the weight on top of me. We go ahead, put the weight on top of me. This hand helped me to set up the sweep. Over here, I'm able to go to the side here to finish for the arm bar. We're able to go on top over here and set up from the mount position or go for the finish. That's why it's very important here. Let me demonstrate to you, Roger. When you here, I get here to the guard, cross over here. In case he stand up, as soon as he stand up, hands inside the leg. You know what I mean? Because even he, he try to put the weight, it's gonna be easy for he reverse here, go for the arm bar, or go for the mouth position in the triangle. Again, remember, the first thing to do 
when somebody try to stand up, the hands inside the leg, because you don't want to take a chance, or he lifts your body and hits you on the ground. But another thing here is very common. When I soon he stand up here, go for the arm bar. No, just go for the arm bar. No, no, no. This way, Hush. Yeah. Yes! Because over here, he put the head down, you adjust the triangle. In case you try to put the head up, you go for the arm bar. Okay? In case he try pass here, he's gonna be able to go for the sweep. Okay? Very good. Okay. Or even here, you can go for the leg over my face. Go for the arm bar. Remember, always when somebody try to lift you, hands inside the leg, or try to go for the arm bar. That's gonna teach them not to do the bust, to hit you, to do the, we call the back stack on you. Okay, remember, hands inside the leg, very important. It train safe above everything. These next techniques I'd like to show, these, uh, the first time I saw that after is not too long ago, I saw that in a world championship in Brazil, in a lightweight division, uh, I saw this guy doing a passing and get the other opening and trying to really call my attention because this is a new angle for me. He basically like the way he did what uh, I like to demonstrate because this actually is a very good counter and even my students adapt these techniques very well. They yeah, like to show you how to do it, okay, step by step. When Roger here, I'm over here, he naturally, he wanted to get his offense, but he's in defense position, he wanna sit up. When he sit up, the first thing he tried to do is to control me for the move back, he gonna try to control this collar. When he control this collar here, he keep the other hands on the ground. That's when they have a chance to do a good counter for set up him for the triangle. One thing I look, uh, do here is this hand over here. Okay, what they're gonna do is basically gonna step to the side and step with the other leg here. I'm gonna do it in a very slow motion. When they come here, I'm gonna sit on his chest by rolling on the side. And here, I'm gonna be able to set up the triangle. One more time, Harjo. One more time, let's do a couple more times here. One step, take a step right here, lock the triangle again. Different angle, grab it over here, move, go for the triangle. Thank you, Raj. Welcome. This fight is the final of 2003 uh, World Championship in, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The guy in white, his name is Jeff Moura. He's a black belt from Barra Grace. Over here you see he's setting up for the triangle by controlling the arm, putting the guy right away, push the arm out the circle, of course, start little by little set up the triangle. His opponent fight for keep the weight on top, for don't let him adjust. But the goal right now from Jeff Morris to push the other arm out. Little by little, he get the arm, start fight for put the arm out, for have just the head and the arm between the legs. Now, the guy in blue keep the weight on top for fight against Jeff Morris, for he don't let lock the triangle. But you see over here, Jeff Morris, little by little, take his time because his goal right now is to full. Now he start adjust. Now he started adjust for the full triangle, lock the full triangle. Now just what he needs, the pressure behind the head. And over here, you're gonna see he put the two hands and finish the fight uh, with a beautiful triangle. This is another final in 2003, the World Championship in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. You see Tereri the side control over Marcelo Garcia. You're gonna see the train set up from another different position. You see, uh, in this position, uh, Tereri control his arm, go for the mount position, scoring the four points for the fight. 
Marcelo Garcia, do A Little Mistake, in TDD Take Advantage Set Up and For the Trial. By Try Put the Hands on the Ground, in TDD Take Advantage, in Pulling the Triumph, by Just Pulling the Pressure Right Way, in Finish, a very beautiful triumph from the mouth position. This is Brawley. He's a brown belt from Barra Grace. He over here, he's going to do a very nice setup. He try little by little set up a very deep hand inside for set up the choke. He's going to start apply the choke. If from the choke, he's going to surprise his opponent by set up the triangle. You see over here, he start putting a deep choke. His partner, as soon as he put the arm to block the choke, Brown is going to take advantage to swing the leg over the arm. And right away, because Brawler have a long leg, he's going to be able to lock the leg very easy before the triangle. Right away, your hands inside the leg, he's going to be able to break his ba the opponent balance by putting a lot of pressure and finishing a beautiful triangle. Beautiful. Over here, you're going to see Brawler one more time, like he set up the triangle. In this position, first he starts from the back. You're going to see he set up for a different position. This is in the 2003 World Championship uh, in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. You see now the opening on his guard, he's going to set up a sweep, he do a beautiful sweep. He found the sweep, from the, he's going to set up from the mouth position, going to the triangle. Watch, watch this. The guy's going to try bridging, escape, as soon as he got come back, Brawler is going to take advantage for set up the train. What is good, Brawler has an excellent leg, like a long leg, it's very easy for him to lock a full triangle. Look right now, the guy try escape, the right there, he trapped, do a full triangle, keep the pressure and right away the hands inside the leg, and finish another triangle. This uh, the World Championship, uh, you see the, the athlete in white, his name is Mary Rees from Barry Rees. Right away he pulled for the guard. Yeah. Now look how deep he gonna get his hand, all deep on the opponent's belt. You see this uh, very good control, it's very difficult, the opponent a little by little, you see he, he, the arm get trapped to the side, he, he, the foot on the hip. Now the arm is outside, he going to push the arm out. Watch this setup, it's a beautiful setup. He push the arm, grab the wrist, oh, right there, he penetrate the leg, right there, the setup. Right there, the setup, the hands inside, he's already have a very good angle. He will see the full triangle, and the leg, in, the hands inside the leg, don't let the opening get away. He over there right away he keep the pressure, hold the shin and keep like a very good pressure on his opponent. Opponents fight for try escape but he's so trapped you see he's stepping right now. Beautiful finish. Let's watch this setup. You see Tiriri uh, getting his opponent back they're gonna set up to try score the points by getting the back or going for the mount position. Over here, they try score the points, come back, get the back, score the four points. But look this setup, the penetration, when his opponent put their hands on the ground, right where he penetrated the leg. Right now you see he's locking a full triangle, but he don't have a good angle for put the pressure behind his neck. He have a good angle for maybe go for the arm, but look how he's gonna break the balance of his opening and try to finish the triangle from a different end. You're gonna watch. He's little by little, grab the arm, put, in the, put the hand on the ground and go for the mouth position. Now he have a good angle, put in the pressure and make his opening tap. Beautiful setup. You see now, you're gonna see in this fight a setup from the open guard. You're gonna see a little, a little mistake from the athlete in white. You see the athlete in blue have a single arm control right away. He try uh, pull for the triangle. 
You see his opponent use the elbow to try block the leg, but the first opportunity, the first little mistake, he's gonna counter set up the triangle. Watch, right there. Now the opponent have the gear on the back, on the, the over his head. The referee is gonna do a little mistake, but he stop the fight and let the other the other hand adjust the position. What the referee is gonna do is let start again. Okay, now he gonna fight to counter the defense on his opening and go for the mount position. From the mount position, he keep pushing the arm, he keep the pressure on the head the whole time. He have a very good full triangle. He try keep the pressure by using the hip. The opening is still resisting. But you see here when he go on the top, you see how deep the hands behind the head. It's going to be a lot of pressure. It's going to be very difficult to defend these techniques. This is the famous Paddy Pan, world champion last year in 2003, considered to be the world champion again. Uh, in this fight, you're going to see Paddy Pan is well named by Triangle Man. You see, he controlled the arm and the leg. He is very well named to combine the omoplata for the triangle. But it is not, you're not gonna see the triangle. You're gonna be, you're gonna see he adding the arm bar to finish the triangle. It's another good variation for triangle. Watch this. A little by little, wait for his partner to move a little bit. His partner have the knee between the legs. But look how he's gonna set up the omoplata. He set up the omoplata, plus he tries to set up a sweep. He's opening the fan. He have the arm control right there, he come back for the triangle, but right there, he go for the arm by make his opening tag. Look this setup, the fly triangle. Jacaré jump against Brawley. Right there, he have the full triangle. Look how he gonna go to the mount position. You go for the mount position against Brawley, who's well named a uh, triangle man too. But over here, he tried probably keep fighting for the defense, keep fighting. Don't let Jacaré get the angle. Jacaré keep the pressure on the head. Brawl keep defending. Jacaré lost the angle for do the pressure behind the neck. You see how Brawl have a great defense. He tried to turn around on the side. Jacaré over there lose the angle for do the choke. But Jacaré is gonna do a very good setup from the triangle. Right there, he's gonna combine, he's going for the armbar from the triangle position. But watch how Brawley tried to defend the triangle. He broke the angle for Jacaré do the choke. He's in Pan American, 2004. Look, he got, try to go for the mount position. He see the opportunity for go the arm. Right there, finish on the armbar. Over here, you're gonna see Paddy Pan again set up the triangle. You see Paddy Pan right here, he never let it go the arm. You see, he, right there, he's gonna do his combination. Omoplata, arm bow, triangle. But you see over here, he always do the cross grip. He, yes, he try work on the leg over there. You see over there, he have the triangle position, but he's open and have the knee. Oh, he try set up the sweep. He's opening lock control the leg. The first mistake, he pull for the guard. You're over there, a full lock. Just keep the pressure. Keep the pressure, have a good angle. His opening try to step over his head, but he couldn't. He he, he finished. Make his opening tap. In this fight, you see a fighter named Fabio Leopoldo, a student from higher grace he he gonna do this setup from triangle from the side control he have a very good solid position little by little get change his base and control the arm you see he controlling the arm he step over the head and come back controlling the arm but you see how he fight for keep the arm between the legs that's because he don't want to lose because he have a chance maybe to go to the armbar. His friend, the partner almost escaped, but he still have the arm. He come back on top again. He control the head. Now as soon as he control the head, he control the chin. 
still in the mouth position, do the full triangle, and little by little start putting the pressure behind the head. You see over there, he have a very good triangle position. Take his time, Con control with a good balance. Now he put the pressure on the head and finish the position. Beautiful setup. In this fight, you're gonna see a very good combination. You're gonna try apply the hook sweep and you choke. And as soon as he have a chance, he, right there, he block the wrist, go straight for very good setup for triangle. Triangle when you lock 100% is very difficult to escape. Over there, he have a very good triangle. He take the time to start little by little putting the pressure. The hands inside the leg break the angle for the guy on the top to escape. But he try to use the knee behind the butt. But you see, now the army are really in good position for the guy on the bottom. He push the arm to the other side, pressure behind the head. Keep the pressure. The opponent fights for his survival. See the hands inside the leg, that's great. Yeah, the more he put the weight, more he helped the pressure. Now he have a very good, good finish. In this fight, you're gonna see the the person blue, the fighting blue, uh, just take his time because his opponent try to do a pass. He, he is in good position to defend. He look at the mistake the person in white is gonna do is how quick he gonna set up the triangle. He try keep pass the, the guy on the bar just control, but the first mistake you, mistake you see, he start control the arm. The first mistake, you go for the spider guard. That right there he set up. Very good setup. Did not have the lock yet. Try adjust now fight. He adjust ain't set up for the arm bar. In this fight, you're gonna see the opening on the top doing another mistake. You see his opening over there, try to set up a hook sweep. He's he gonna try pass, as soon as he passed, he escaped the leg and trapped on the triangle. Over there, he's gonna fight, you see how he keep the head down? That's because he wanna adjust the triangle. Over there, he controlled the chin, now he have the good triangle. Keep the pressure, he's opening in a real bad situation. Keep the pressure, keep it very tight. Push the arm now. The hands behind the head. Keep the pressure. Choke. And hit that. In this fight, you're gonna see the athlete in white do a, a very good setup from the stand position, not the flying triangle. Where he's gonna pull for the guard and set up a uh, good triangle. You see, he try control his opening hand. Keep watch that. He control the collar, the other side, control the gi, but he keep the arm low. Now he step inside of the leg, and he have now his opening inside the triangle. Now is the game who who escape and who got get who. It's like he's gonna try fight for the lock, he's gonna fight for the escape. So far, successful lock, pressure behind the head. The opening can't escape at all, hit that. Over here in this fight, you're gonna see Roger Grace on the mount position. Uh, on the World Championship 2003. I believe Roger Grace is gonna be the next champ. Over here you see, um, he get in the back, he, uh, he scoring the four points position. The referee can move to the middle of the mat for don't give a chance for the opening to escape, he have to start again. I believe Roger Grace is gonna be the next champ from the Grace fam. He's a real strong guy, he's six, 
like a 6.4, like 230, have very good long legs, have a very good techniques, he play very relaxed. Look at this setup. He um, climbed the legs. You're not going to be able to see 100%. You see he, the way he trapped the arm over there. He controlled the arm, step, put the arm out. Now over here he fights for the lock. As soon as he lock, look at says not a full triangle. Now have the full triangle, press on the head, finish the triangle. Boom. In this fight, you're gonna see uh, the guy on the bottom named uh, Mario Reis. And the guy on the top, uh, Fred Pachon. Fred Pachon is the 2002 world champion. Never tapped before in a championship. And here you're gonna see the the Mario Reis surprise Fred Pachon in a beautiful setup for Triangle. Watch this setup. It's control. You see Fred Pachon, you see foot on the hip. Take his time. Yes. Now he look over there, he little by little fight for the arm. In this level of fight, any little mistake is the end of the fight. Fred Pachon try to keep his solid position, but he trapped the push the arm out. Now he have a fantastic setup. In the world championship, is not allowed to throw the guy on the ground. You see, he raised the guy on this in the high on the floor. But in case you smash him on the ground, it's going to be disqualification. He uh, might risk take advantage, climb on top. And little by little, he's gonna try to bring down the fire. But you see how strong the fire have to be. You know, yes, he bring down the fight, the, the fire. He keep the pressure behind the head. Is Fred Pachon very, su very surprised because he never tapped, he never got surprised in any. You see how triangle is a powerful position. But you see, Fred Pachon, the one that let he put the two hands behind the head. But he know the opening put the two hands behind the head. Now he have the two hands behind the head. Fred Pachon keep fighting to break the grip behind the head. For give time for him to escape. Fred Pachon is a fighter from the Grace Bar. You see he tried to put the pressure for open the triangle. You see Mario Reyes control his shin for, oh, he tap, he tap and finish the triangle. Very surprised, very surprised. He's very happy to finish. He beat the 2002 world champion.